Illustrated everyday expressions with stories 1. Lesson 1. The sun, the moon, and the bat. Target idioms. A couple of. The monkey has a couple of bananas. He arrived a couple of days ago. Bobby has a couple of pens in his pocket. Have you been to Europe? Yes, a couple of times. A long time ago. A long time ago, dinosaurs lived on the earth. A long time ago, there were no airplanes. My grandfather was a pilot a long time ago. When did you go to Germany? I went to Germany a long time ago, in 1963. A lot of. He has a lot of hair. The millionaire has a lot of money. A lot of students were absent because of the flu. Why aren't you feeling well? I think it's because I ate a lot of chocolate today. A pair of. I bought two pairs of shoes, one for my brother and the other for my sister. She wants to buy a pair of beautiful gloves. I need a pair of socks. What are you going to buy when you go shopping? I'm going to buy a pair of earrings. Above all, above all else, you must not smoke or drink. Above all, you must exercise. Above all, you should obey your parents, said my grandfather. Above all, a soldier must be brave. What did you like about this book? It was interesting and exciting, but above all, it was funny. According to... According to scientists, the earth is becoming warmer. According to this book, elephants are endangered. A according to my mother, television is bad for you. Where are we? According to this map, we're somewhere between Johnson Street and 2nd Avenue. After all, the tortoise won the race after all. He went with them after all. The small country won the battle after all. Who were you just talking to? I thought it was someone I know from college, but it wasn't her after all. Again and again. I told you again and again not to touch the electric fence. While babies learn to walk, they fall again and again. The child wanted to hear the same story again and again. This computer game is really fun. I think so, too. I want to play it again and again. Agree with. I agree with you. There's something strange about him. The teacher agreed with the students. Sharon agreed with her friend. Some people didn't like the movie, but I thought it was interesting. I agree with you. It was very interesting. All of a sudden. All of a sudden, it started to rain very hard. All of a sudden, the dog began to bark loudly. All of a sudden, the earth began to shake. How did you break your leg? I was riding my bicycle when all of a sudden, I hit a bump and fell off. All over the world. Ants live all over the world. English is spoken all over the world. Mozart is famous all over the world. I wish I could travel all over the world. That would be a lot of fun. All the time. He is tired all the time. Midori practices the violin all the time. Mark chews gum all the time. He looks very happy today. He looks happy all the time. All the way. The road goes all the way across the field. The car broke down and we had to walk all the way home. Sue was late. She ran all the way to school. Can you run all the way around the soccer field? No, I can't. I can only run halfway around it. Then I'm too tired to keep running. And so on. They were always arguing. I'm the fastest. No, I'm the fastest. No way and so on. Potatoes, onions, carrots, and so on are vegetables. There are many countries in Africa, Zambia, Kenya, Togo, and so on. 
What do you feed your pet snake? Small animals like mice, frogs, lizards, and so on. Arrive at, arrive in. Make sure you arrive at the house before six o'clock. They arrived at the restaurant. The train arrived at the station. When will we get to the airport? We should arrive at the airport in five minutes. As a result, he ate too much. As a result, he got fat. She studied hard. As a result, she got an A on the test. Many roads were flooded, and as a result, there were some delays. Did you study for the test? No, and as a result, I got a bad grade. As well as, I like apples as well as peppers. I play tennis on weekdays as well as on Saturdays. There were adults as well as children in the park. Would you like a hamburger or some chicken? I'm really hungry. I'd like both as well as some cola. Ask for. The magic genie will give you anything you ask for. For his birthday, Don asked for a new toy truck. The chef asked for a spoon. I asked for some money, but my father said no. That's too bad. Now we can't go to see the movie tonight. At a time, they took showers one at a time. The children went down the slide two at a time. The elevator holds five people at a time. Can you help me move these boxes? Yes, but they're heavy, so let's move them one at a time. At any time. She may give birth at any time. The library is open twenty-four hours a day. I can study there at any time. People can call the police at any time. Can I visit you at three o'clock on Saturday? I'll be home all day. You can visit at any time. According to a story from Africa, a long time ago, the sun and the bat were good friends. They were seen together all the time. They shared their dreams as well as their problems. One day, the moon and the sun began talking about who was stronger. The moon said she was stronger. The sun did not agree with her. They argued, "I am stronger." No, I am stronger. No, I am, and so on. Finally, they decided to have a contest. After a couple of days, they planned to meet at the lake to see who could throw a rock the farthest across the lake. A lot of animals came from all over the world to the lake to watch the contest. They came early because they knew that the contest could start at any time. The moon arrived at the lake first. She wanted to win, so she practiced before the sun arrived. She picked up rocks one at a time and threw them. Each time the rocks went farther and farther. By the time the sun finally arrived at the lake, the moon was sure she could win. The moon chose a rock and threw it. It landed near the other side of the lake. The sun chose a bigger rock and threw it. Near the middle of the lake, the sun's rock began to fall toward the water, but all of a sudden, it began to go up again. The sun's rock went all the way to the other side of the lake. It seemed that the sun had won the contest after all. However, nobody knew that the bat was carrying the rock. When the bat was sure that no one could see him, he stopped to rest between a pair of banana trees. His wings were tired. It was difficult carrying the heavy rock, but he was happy to help the sun. That's what friends are for, thought the bat. Many years later, the bat's mother died. Above all, the bat wanted his mother to have a nice grave. The bat worked all day, 
but he was not finished by the time the sun began to go down. The bat asked for a favor from the sun. Can you stay up until I finish my mother's grave? The sun refused. Again and again the bat begged, but the sun said it was time for him to go down. The bat was very angry. The sun did not help him, even though he had helped the sun. When the moon came up, she saw the bat still working hard on his mother's grave. The moon gave the bat enough light to finish his work. As a result, the bat and the moon became good friends. That's why today you will never see the bat near the sun. He is always with his friend, the moon. Lesson 2 The Man Who Learned From His Cow Target Idioms At first, at first, I thought all Americans would be big and strong. She was afraid of dogs at first. Now she loves them. They didn't like cheese at first. Do you like studying English? At first, I thought it was boring, but now I like it. At last, at last, the sun came up over the horizon. After many years of war, there was peace at last. Robinson Crusoe was home at last. Did you finish cleaning your room? Yes. After two hours of cleaning, I finished at last. At least. Some people recommend eating an apple at least once a day. You need to stay in bed for at least three days. Most people have been in love at least once. How many times have you been to the ocean? I've been there at least six times, maybe more. At once. Son, come back here at once. When we heard a fire alarm, we left at once. She went to her sick mother at once. Can I give you the money next week? No, I need it at once. Please come to my house now and pay me. At the top of. He graduated at the top of the class. I saw a flag at the top of the building. He was standing at the top of the stairs. What's at the top of the mountain? There's a place to sit down and have some water. Be about to. He was about to push the button. He was about to fall asleep when the telephone rang. Look at the dark clouds. It is about to rain. Why didn't you go in the water? I was about to go in, but then I saw a jellyfish and ran away. Be absent from. He was absent from class because he was sick. Mr. Jones was absent from the meeting. Our teacher is absent from school today because she is getting married. Why were you absent from school yesterday? I was sick, so I had to stay home. Be afraid of. Many people are afraid of snakes. Children are afraid of the dark. The bird was afraid of flying at first. Why don't you like fishing? I'm afraid of the water. Be angry with. The father was angry with his son. Cain was very angry with his brother Abel. The police officer was angry with the drunk driver. Why was the teacher angry with the class? None of the students read the book. Be anxious about. The boy was anxious about taking the test. The president was anxious about meeting the reporters. Mr. Gates was anxious about the job interview. Are you anxious about going to the dentist? Yes, I don't like going to the dentist. It makes me nervous. Be anxious too. The puppy is anxious to eat his dinner. The students are anxious to know the answer. When we saw the dark clouds, we were anxious to get home. I'm anxious to go to the amusement park this weekend. Me too. It's going to be fun. 
be covered with. After sleeping in the woods, he was covered with insect bites. My desk is covered with papers. The ground was covered with snow. Do you like cake? Yes, especially if it's covered with frosting. Be crowded with. The room was crowded with aliens. The subway was crowded with people. The shelf was crowded with books. Why is this store so crowded with people? It's crowded because there's a big sale today. Be different from. He always knew he was different from the others. My dog is different from yours. Canadians are different from Americans in many ways. Is Korean food different from Chinese food? Yes, Korean food is much spicier. Be disappointed with. The woman was disappointed with her puppy. The teacher was disappointed with my low grade. When we lost the game, the coach was disappointed with my team. I'm disappointed with my test score. Me too. I only got a 64. Be divided in two. The juice was divided into two glasses. The essay was divided into three parts. The money was divided into three bags. The pizza is divided into eight pieces. Great! There are eight people, so everybody can have one piece. Be dressed in. He is dressed in a shirt and tie. The prince was dressed in fine clothes. The bride was dressed in a white gown. Why are you dressed in your winter coat? I'm going to buy some ice cream. Be excited about. I'm excited about the concert. The fans were excited about the game. The children were excited about going to the zoo. I'm excited about the party on Friday. Me too. I love birthday parties. Be familiar with. The pigs are familiar with each other. She is familiar with Russian culture. I am not familiar with this brand of computer. Do you know where the post office is? No, I don't. Let's ask someone who's familiar with this part of town. Be famous for. He is famous for having the world's longest fingernails. Thomas Edison is famous for his inventions. Shakespeare is famous for his plays. What shall we order to eat? I'd like to order pizza. This restaurant is famous for it. There is a story in Mexico about a man who learned a good lesson from his cow. This man was always anxious about his wife talking to other men. Even on his wedding day, the man was angry with his wife for dancing with another man. At first, the wife thought her husband might change after they got married. But whenever her husband saw her talking with another man, even in a room crowded with people, he would shout at her. The wife was afraid of making her husband angry. So she tried to stay at home and not see anyone. At least then she would not cause any problems. The man and his wife moved to another town. This town was different from the town where they got married. The man bought a house at the top of a hill where there were not many people. The town was famous for its strong buildings, and the man got a job making bricks. He saved up his money and bought a cow. The man was very excited about having his own cow. When her husband was absent from home, the woman watched the cow. She took it to a field near the house to eat. The field was covered with thick green grass. No one owned the field. It was not divided into small sections by fences. The animals could go wherever they wanted. One day the cow met a bull and they fell in love. The cow and the bull promised to see each other every day. The woman was lonely when she watched the cow. Sometimes she saw a man walking on the road. The woman was anxious to talk to the man. She saw him walking past the field almost every day, so she was very familiar with him. At last, 
One day she stopped him to say hello. The husband came home and saw her talking to the man. He was very angry with his wife and said, I can't trust you even for a minute. We're going to leave this town at once. The next day they packed their things to move. When the cow saw the woman was dressed in her moving clothes, she became very sad. The cow mooed loudly. The man told the woman to make the cow be quiet. The cow started to moo even louder. Finally, the man said, That cow is giving me a headache. I'm about to shoot it. Can't you make it be quiet? The woman was disappointed with the cow. Can't you be quiet, you stupid cow? There will be other bulls in the next place. The man heard his wife, and he thought about her words. There will be other bulls. He knew she was right. Wherever they went, there would be other men. The man turned around and took his wife and the cow home. Lesson 3 The Man Who Tried to Change Fate. Target Idioms Be filled with. The bowl is filled with grapes. This donut is filled with cream. The book was filled with pictures. Wow! This garden is filled with flowers. It's beautiful. Be fond of. He's really fond of baseball. Romeo and Juliet were very fond of each other. My grandmother and grandfather are fond of me. Have you heard of Picasso? Yes, I am fond of his paintings. Be full of. The box is full of toys. Her basket was full of apples. The vase is full of beautiful flowers. Why is your bag so heavy? It is full of books. Be good at. He's good at mathematics. Mike is good at languages. Jane is good at sports. You are very good at basketball. Not really, but I have fun playing it. Be impressed by. We were impressed by his singing. She was impressed by his strength. I was impressed by the size of the house. Did you enjoy the art gallery? Yes, I did. I was impressed by all the beautiful paintings. Be in trouble. She is always in trouble. If you don't clean your room, you'll be in trouble. The student was in trouble for cheating on the test. Why are you in the teacher's office? Are you in trouble? Yes, I am. I did not do my homework last night. Be interested in. That's weird Eddie. He's only interested in insects. I'm very interested in astronomy. When she was young, Josephine Baker was interested in dance. I'm interested in learning how to play tennis. I can help you. I have been playing for a few years. Be known for. The tree frog is known for its green color. The tree is known for its delicious fruit. The girl was known for having long hair. Where is Joe? We've been waiting for 25 minutes. Well, he is known for being late. Be late for. He is late for work. The groom was late for the wedding. The boss was late for the meeting. Why are you driving so fast? I am going to be late for the concert. Be made of. The house is made of brick. My pants are made of cotton. Jam is made of sugar and fruit. Is this bottle made of glass? No, I think it is made of plastic. Be over. Don't worry, the ride will be over soon. The meeting was over at 11 o'clock. When is the movie going to be over? What time will this class be over? It will finish at 3 o'clock. Be pleased with. You should be pleased with your grades. I was pleased with the quick service. 
She was pleased with the new wallpaper. Wow, that is a nice picture you are painting. Thanks. I hope my art teacher will be pleased. Be proud of. The boy is proud of his painting. They were very proud of their son. I am proud of my country. I got an A on the test. I'm very proud of you. Be ready to. The spider is ready to eat. She isn't ready to go yet. They were ready to go camping. Are you ready to go to school? No, I have to eat breakfast first. Be responsible for. He is responsible for the whole group. A shepherd is responsible for his sheep. The doctor is responsible for his patient. Are you responsible for your little sister today? Yes, I am. If she does anything bad, my parents will be angry at me. Be satisfied with. The snake was satisfied with his meal. My father is satisfied with his new car. Miss Johnson is not satisfied with her job. Are you satisfied with your meal? Yes, it tastes very good. Be similar to. Wasps are similar to bees. A turtle is similar to a tortoise. A leopard is similar to a tiger. Look, is that your mom's car? No, it's not. But it is similar to her car. It is the same size and color. Be supposed to. You were supposed to save half the cake for me. The meeting is supposed to begin at two p.m. What time is the show supposed to start? Do you want to play soccer this afternoon? I do, but I can't because I am supposed to meet my uncle at two o'clock. Be sure of. The girl was sure of which puppy she wanted. Willie was sure of his answer. She isn't sure of the time of the party. Are you sure Rita wants the green shirt? I am sure of it. Yesterday she told me she wanted it. Be surprised by. Be surprised at. She was surprised by her son's new hairstyle. Mr. Scrooge was surprised by the ghost. Nancy Drew was surprised at the noise. I am surprised by Nick's kindness these days. Me too. Last year he was a very mean boy. A long time ago in England, there lived a very rich man who was known for his great skill at telling the future. He would have big parties in his big house. At the parties, he would tell the future of his guests. The man was very proud of his skill because he was very good at it. The rich man had a baby boy. He was interested in knowing his son's fate. The father was not pleased with what he saw. His son was supposed to marry a very poor girl who lived in a village near their home. The rich man was not satisfied with his son's future. The man went to the village. The girl who his son was supposed to marry had been born only one month before. The family was worried about feeding the new baby. They already had many children. The rich man told the family, "I know a couple who can't have children. Give me your daughter. I will be responsible for her until the couple comes to get her." Of course, the poor family was surprised by the rich man's offer, but they agreed. As he was going home, the rich man stopped by the river. He wanted to be sure that the girl would never marry his son. He put the baby girl in a bag that was made of leather and threw her in the river. However, the bag was full of air, so it floated. A fisherman found the bag and took the baby home. His wife was fond of children, so they raised the girl as if she were their own daughter. Many years later, the girl happened to meet the rich man's son. They fell in love and were ready to get married. The rich man noticed that she was similar to the girl he had thrown in the river. He went to visit the fisherman and heard the story. It was the same girl. 
However, he knew that he would be in trouble if he tried to kill the girl now. He took the girl to the river. Then the man threw his ring into the river and said, Bring that ring to my next party, and then you can marry my son. The girl went away. Her eyes were filled with tears. The girl wanted to cook some delicious food for the party. She hoped that the man would be impressed by her skill and change his mind. She bought the biggest fish in the market and took it home. When she cut the fish open, she found a ring inside. Ah,、oh, it's the rich man's ring! she shouted. I'm sure of it! She didn't want to be late for the party, so she dressed quickly and ran to the rich man's house. Before the party was over, the girl went up to the rich man and gave him his ring back. Now she could marry his son. He finally realized that he could not change fate. Lesson 4 The Jindo Dog Target Idioms Be thankful for. The baby kangaroo is thankful for his mother's love and care. The beggar was thankful for the coin. The criminal was thankful for the judge's mercy. Some people sleep in the subway station because they don't have a house or a bed. That would be terrible. I am very thankful for my home. Be used to. It doesn't hurt anymore. I guess I'm used to it. She is used to getting up early in the morning. Tarzan was used to living in the jungle. You've lived in Mexico for six months. How do you like it? I like it, but my stomach isn't used to Mexican food yet. Be willing to. The soldier was willing to defend his country. Sam was willing to lend money to his friend. Miss Iyer was willing to teach. In the small school. Are you willing to help me with my chemistry homework? Yes, I am, but I am busy right now. I will help you tonight. Be worried about. I am worried about the baby. The farmer was worried about the weather. He is worried about his health. I am worried about our dog. Me too. He hasn't eaten for three days. Be worth. Diamonds are expensive, but some people think they are worth buying. The hotel is great. It's worth staying an extra night. Our car is old, but it's worth keeping. Is this movie worth watching? No, it's not. I saw it last night, and it was terrible. Because of. She is happy because of her new sweater. He can't ride the bicycle. Because of the flat tire. We couldn't go because of the weather. Did you play baseball yesterday? No, I didn't. We couldn't play because of the rain. Before long. Before long, you'll be a big rabbit like me. Dinner will be ready before long. Before long, Sandy will graduate from high school. The weather is getting colder. Yes, it is, and before long, I think it will start to snow. Belong to. The teddy bear belongs to my little brother. The yacht belonged to Mrs. Vanderbilt. This business belongs to me. Does this bag belong to Max? No, it doesn't. It is Kathy's bag. Between you and me. Between you and me, I think there's something wrong with that guy. Between you and me, I think Greg is handsome. Between you and me, I think the food here is terrible. Please don't tell anybody the story I just told you. I won't tell anybody else. I'll keep it between you and me. Blow out. Make a wish when you blow out the candle. The wind blew out the fire. He blew out the candle before going to bed. Oh no! Why is it so dark in here? The wind blew out our candles. Break away from. 
He wanted to break away from the group. He broke away from the crowd. The dog broke away from its owner. How did Sylvia win the race? She was with the other runners. Then she broke away from them and crossed the finish line first. Break out. Suddenly, an argument broke out. He was just a child when the war broke out in his country. A fight broke out at the baseball game. Why were you late for work today? A fire broke out in my apartment this morning. Bring about. Rain in July will bring about floods. Years of stress brought about his illness. Hard work brought about his success. The weather is warmer this summer than it has been in the past. Why is that? I don't know. Some people think the warmer weather was brought about by air pollution. Bring in. My dog brings in the newspaper every morning. Make sure that you don't bring in dirt. Bring in the next patient, said the doctor. Oh no, it's starting to rain on our picnic. No problem. I will carry the hamburgers to the house and you can bring in the cake. Bring out. He brought out a picture of his girlfriend. The woman brought out a gold ring. Bring out the two men. I'm going to get an orange from the refrigerator. Do you want anything? Yes. Could you bring out some watermelon, please? By oneself. He likes to play by himself. The girl went to the movie by herself. After a few days of practice, the children could swim by themselves. I want to go to the library by myself. Why? I have a lot of studying to do and don't want to be disturbed. By the way, by the way, her father is a doctor. By the way, may I borrow some money? By the way, when are you going to America? I heard that you're moving to a new house. Yes. By the way, do you need a sofa and some chairs? By way of. You can get to Dundas by way of Lyon Street. We sail to Europe by way of the Mediterranean Sea. They came to North America by way of a land bridge. Did the teacher say that I have to read that book? No. She said by way of suggestion that you should read it. Call off. He had to call off the birthday party because he felt sick. The boss called off the meeting. It rained, so they called off the baseball game. They had to call off the soccer game yesterday. How come? One of the teams didn't have enough players. Call on. He went to call on his friend. She called on me, but I wasn't home. Do you have time to call on your grandmother? Where's Donald? I thought he was going to play soccer with us tonight. He was going to, but some relatives called on him unexpectedly. Dogs are worth keeping as pets because they are willing to do anything for the family they belong to. They guard the house, bring in the paper, and play well with children. In Korea, Jindo dogs are known to be the smartest and most loyal dogs because of a famous story. According to this story, a Jindo dog saved a man's life, even though it brought about its own death. A long time ago, a man went to call on his friend in another town. The man had to walk to the other town by way of a path through the woods. He didn't like walking by himself. So the man took his dog with him. When the man reached his friend's house, he saw that there was a large drinking party going on. His friend welcomed him in and brought out some wine. It was very good, so he drank a lot. He was used to drinking wine, so he was not worried about having too much. Before long, however, the man got very drunk. Between you and me, I think the man had a drinking problem. At last, the man decided it was time to call off the drinking and go home. He broke away from the party 
and went home with his dog. On the way, the man began to feel tired. He sat down to rest, but quickly fell asleep because of all the wine he drank. The dog lay down by the man and waited for him to wake up. Then, all of a sudden, the dog smelled smoke. A fire broke out in the woods. A small wind was blowing, but it did not blow out the fire. The wind made the fire bigger. The dog tried to wake up the man by barking, but the man was too drunk. He would not wake up. The dog heard the sound of a small river near the path. It tried to pull the man to the river, but the man was too big. It ran to the river and jumped in. Then the dog ran back to the man and shook itself. The man and the grass around him got a little wet. The dog ran back and forth many times. Finally, the man and the ground were all wet. The fire burned all around him, but it did not harm the man. Sadly, the dog was so tired from running that it fell down and died. When the man woke up and found his dog had died, he cried. He knew that his dog had saved his life by giving up its own life. He was so thankful for his dog. The man told all of his friends how great Jindo dogs are. By the way, the man also gave up drinking after that. Lesson 5 The Wait and See Man. Target idioms. Call up. He called up for more bananas. He called me up at 2.30 in the morning. I always call up my grandmother on her birthday. I'm hungry, but I don't want to cook. I am hungry, too. Let's call up the pizza place and order a cheese pizza. Calm down. Some people have a cup of tea when they need to calm down. After the storm, the sea calmed down. The child calmed down when we gave him his teddy bear. Help! There's a spider on the desk. Calm down. It is not going to hurt you. Can't afford. I'd love to buy that house, but I can't afford it. I can't afford to buy a Mercedes Benz. He can't afford a new suit. Mom, can you buy me that computer? I'd like to, but I can't afford it. It's too expensive. Can't help. ING. They can't help laughing at his strange appearance. Susan couldn't help eating all the cookies. I can't help falling in love with her. Please don't laugh at me when I sing. I can't help it. You sound really funny. Can't stand. I can't stand opera music. She can't stand traffic jams. They like pickles, but they can't stand mustard. Let's go see the new James Bond film. No, thanks. I can't stand action movies. Care for. The mother cares for her child. Most people don't care for their houseplants properly. Janet appreciated the way Rick cared for her when she was sick. How should I care for this plant? You have to give it water every day. Catch up with. He just couldn't catch up with her. I missed a week of school, so I had to catch up with my class. We ran to catch up with Larry. Your team is really far behind. Yes, I don't think we can catch up with yours. Check in. When you arrive, check in by signing your name on the list. You must check in at the front desk. Please check in with me when you get here. What time does your plane for Paris leave? It leaves at 10 o'clock, but I have to check in by 8 o'clock. Cheer up. He is trying to cheer up his friend. He cheered up when he got a card and flowers. Cheer up. Tomorrow things will be better. Where are you going? I am going to Anne's house. She is sad because her dog died, so I am going to try to cheer her up. Come by. Why don't you come by my leaf sometime? The mailman usually comes by at 10 o'clock. Ellen will come by this afternoon. 
Do you want to come by my house and see my new CD player? Sure, but I can only stay for a few minutes. Come out of. The frog was still wet after he came out of the water. The bear came out of the cave. She finally came out of the room. Come out of the sun before you get a sunburn. That's a good idea. I'll sit in the shade with you. Come over. She liked it when her grandfather would come over on Sundays. Danny comes over to play after school. Jack, why don't you come over for dinner? Do you want to come over to my house this weekend? That sounds fun. Thank you for inviting me. Come true. Some people think that a four-leaf clover will make your dreams come true. Joe's dream at last came true. I hope all your dreams will come true. I can't believe I won a trip to Europe. It is like a dream come true. Wow, you are really lucky. Come up to. The grass came up to his knees. I got more and more nervous as I came up to the door. The man came up to me and asked me for money. How deep is the water in the swimming pool? Not very deep. It only comes up to my waist. Congratulations on. Congratulations on your birthday. Congratulations on your new baby. Congratulations on graduating from high school. Congratulations on winning the speech contest. Thank you. It was a great contest, and I'm surprised I won. Consist of. A common fast food meal consists of a hamburger, fries, and a drink. The package consisted of three books, some photos, and a candy bar. The United Kingdom consists of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. What did your English test consist of? It consisted of thirty percent speaking, thirty percent listening, and forty percent writing. Cooperate with. They always cooperate with each other. Our team lost because we didn't cooperate with each other. Sally cooperated with Paul on the science project. Why don't you want to be Bill's partner any longer? We can't cooperate with each other. Cope with. The mother is finding it hard to cope with her troubled son. I think I can cope with my new schedule. She has to cope with traffic every day. You look really sick. Do you want to go see a doctor? I can cope with the pain until tomorrow. It's eleven o'clock and too late to go now. Count on. The politician said you can count on me. You can count on him to do a good job. I can count on my parents for support. I'd be happy to help you study. Thanks. I can always count on you. Cry out for. When the baby was hungry, she cried out for food. They are all crying out for change. Children often cry out for candy. What did you do when the man stole your purse? I cried out for help, and a security guard caught the thief. Long ago in China, a young farmer bought a female horse. Many of the farmer's neighbors would come by to see the horse. He spent many hours caring for her. The young farmer was counting on having many young horses to sell. One day, however, the horse ran away. The young farmer's friends tried to cheer him up, but he was too sad. He knew that his family couldn't afford to buy a new horse. However, the farmer's father continued to smile. Finally, the young farmer couldn't stand his father's smile any longer. He asked, "What are you so happy about?" His father told him calmly, "It is sad to lose a horse, but you never know what good things might happen because of this. We should wait and see." A few months later, the horse returned, and it brought a beautiful, strong male horse with it. The farmer called up all of his friends. 
they came over to the young farmer's house to offer him congratulations on his good fortune. The young farmer told his friends, "Now my dream of having many young horses to sell will come true." But when the father came up to them, he looked worried. The farmer's father told everyone, "Having two horses does seem lucky, but I can't help worrying that something bad will happen. We must wait and see." Then one day, the farmer fell off the horse. His leg hurt, and he cried out for help. His family heard his cries and came out of the house to help him. They took him to the hospital and checked in. The doctor came to examine the young farmer. He told him that his leg was broken, and he would not be able to work for many weeks. The farmer's wife and child would have to cope with all of the farm work alone. All of the farmer's friends and family were upset, except the farmer's father. He told everyone. Yes, it does look bad, doesn't it? But calm down. We should wait and see what good things may happen as a result of this. Only a few days later, the towns near the farm were attacked by armies from the north. All of the towns asked the people to cooperate with each other, and make an army to defend their land. This army consisted of farmers rather than soldiers, and many young men died in the fighting. However, because the young farmer had broken his leg, he could not fight. The young farmer lived to become a very old man. The young farmer learned a good lesson from his wait and see father. He learned that both good and bad luck will catch up with you. Lesson six, three rabbits. Target idioms. Cut off. The boy cut off his sister's hair. She cut off all her hair. First, the cook cut off the fish's head. I want to eat this apple, but it looks rotten. Just cut off the rotten part and eat the rest. Dash off. The rabbit dashed off into the forest. He dashed off to deliver the message. She dashed off because she was late. Will May be gone for a long time? No, she just dashed off to the store to buy some milk. Depend on. When they are young, the fish depend on their mother. The blind man depended on his dog. The old woman depended on her son. I'll drive you to the airport. Please don't forget, I'm depending on you. Die out. We must protect whales if we don't want them to die out. Mammoths died out a long time ago. I wish all the mosquitoes would die out. Why did the dinosaurs die out? Because the weather got very cold. Differ from. Red and green apples differ from each other in taste. My opinion differs from hers. The new house differs from the old one in many ways. How does this bicycle differ from the other one? This one has a more comfortable seat. Dispose of. It is dangerous to dispose of a lit cigarette in a garbage can. Bill disposed of the old bottles. The murderer tried to dispose of his knife. This fruit is almost rotten. Let's dispose of it before it starts to smell bad. Do badly in. I always do badly in mathematics. She did not study, so she did badly on her test. The basketball player did badly in the game because of his injury. Do you get good grades in school? My grades are good, except for history. I usually do badly in that class. Do one's best. The teacher told him, "Just do your best." He did his best to stop the water. 
Although I didn't win, I was happy because I did my best. I'm not very good at math. Don't worry. Just study hard and do your best, and you will do all right. Do one's homework. He is doing his homework. I usually do my homework at the library. He always does his homework before watching TV. What are you going to do after school? I am going to do my homework. Do well in. He does very well in school. My sister always does well in math. Bonnie did well in the race. How can I do well in science class? You should review your notes every day and make sure you do all your homework. Don't mention it. When I thanked him for the gift, he said, "Don't mention it." I appreciated the card you sent me. Don't mention it. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. I was glad to help. Thanks for giving me a ride home. Don't mention it. I'm happy I could give you a ride. Dream of. He often dreams of being big and strong. The Wright brothers dreamed of making a flying machine. Pinocchio dreamed of becoming a real boy. In winter, I like to dream of hot, sunny places. Me too. I like hot weather more than cold weather. Drop by. I drop by at three o'clock, but you weren't home. My neighbor dropped by with an apple pie. Eddie dropped by yesterday to say goodbye. Can we go to the department store now? Okay, but I have to drop by the bank first to get some money. Drop off. I have to drop off the package today. My mother dropped me off at school on her way to work. Laura dropped off the books at the library. Where are you going? I am going to drop off my rollerblades at Sue's house. She is going to use them tomorrow. Enjoy oneself. They always enjoy themselves. We enjoyed ourselves at Disney World. He enjoyed himself at the picnic. Enjoy yourself on your vacation. Thank you. I think it will be great. Fall in love with. I fell in love with her the first time I saw her. The young girls fell in love with the rock star. Anthony fell in love with Cleopatra. Does Wally like Sue? Yes, he really likes her. He has fallen in love with her, and he wants to marry her. Far from. The house is far from the city. He lives in town, not far from his father. The forest was not far from Athens. Is your house far from the supermarket? No, it isn't. It takes five minutes to walk there. Feel like. I feel like having a snack. She feels like crying because she lost her job. After the long walk, he felt like taking a shower. Do you feel like watching a video tonight? No, I feel like going bowling. Figure out. You can use a calculator to figure out math problems. I figured out how to save money on my electric bill. Oedipus figured out the answer to the riddle. I can't figure out where I put my glasses. Look on your head. Fill up with. Please fill up the glass with milk. I filled up the tank with gas. We filled up the box with old pictures. How much juice do you want? I'm very thirsty. Please fill up my cup. Long ago in Turkey, three rabbit brothers lived with their father and mother in a hole. The two older brothers did not always behave well and did badly in school. However, the youngest brother always listened to his parents and did his homework. One day, their father said, "My sons, listen to me. You are all now old enough to care for yourselves. You must go out and dig your own holes." 
a rabbit's hole is very important. Without the protection of our holes, we would probably die out. Do your best to make the hole long and narrow. I hope that you will each do well in life and fall in love with nice girl rabbits. But don't move too far from us. We want you to drop by often. The brothers tried to figure out where they should go. The first young rabbit said, I hate living in a hole. I feel like living in a little house near the field. I'll go there and eat and enjoy myself. He found a box that someone disposed of. He made a door and two windows. It was a lovely little house. Suddenly, the rabbit saw a fox and went into his house. When the fox saw the little house, he laughed. In a few seconds, the fox destroyed the house, caught the young rabbit, and ate him. His little house could not keep out a fox. The second young rabbit also dreamed of living in a house. He told his brother, I'm going to build a house next to a large tree. I can depend on the tree's roots to protect me. Then the young rabbit dashed off to build his house. He cut off a few branches from the tree to make the roof. He filled up the roots of the tree with leaves and grass. Soon he felt hungry, so he went to look for some food. The same fox that ate his brother saw the young rabbit. The rabbit dashed off to his house. When he saw the house, the fox laughed. It was easy for him to catch the rabbit. The roots could not protect the rabbit. The third young rabbit differed from his brothers. He listened to his father's words and dug a long, narrow hole. The rabbit was safe. Later, his mother and father came to drop off some carrots. The little rabbit thanked his parents. His father said, Don't mention it. Lesson 7. The Girl Who Dressed Like a Boy Target Idioms Find out. I want to find out if she has a boyfriend. She wanted to find out the name of the book. Diane found out where the money was. What time does the store close? I'll call and find out. For a long time. He hasn't cut his beard for a long time. He has been waiting for a long time. Miss O'Hara has owned this land for a long time. Have you been playing the piano for a long time? No, I've only been playing for three months. For a while. He has been underwater for a while. We have been sitting here for a while. I worked in that company for a while. I'm going to the store. Do you want to join me? No, I think I'll stay here and read for a while. For example, all of us are familiar with mammals. A cow, for example, is a mammal. I like sweet food. For example, I eat ice cream every day. We are different. I am older, for example. You said that Fred insults you. How does he insult you? Well, for example, yesterday he said that I was stupid. For some time. The fish hasn't moved for some time. We have been waiting for some time. This song has been popular for some time. Have you seen Philip recently? No, I haven't seen him for some time. For sure. The girl will beat the boy for sure. That girl will win the math contest for sure. You will get the job for sure. Is your sister going to help you clean the house? Yes, she said she would help me for sure. For the first time. He is getting kissed for the first time. The boy from Brazil saw snow for the first time. She flew in an airplane for the first time. Have you been to that restaurant before? No, I'm going for the first time. For the time being. It's raining. Let's stay inside for the time being. 
She is sick, so she must stay in bed for the time being. His car is in the shop, so he's using mine for the time being. Where do you live? I'm living at my uncle's house for the time being, but I'm going to move into my own place next month. From now on. From now on, maybe you won't play in the street. From now on, I'm free. I promise to be good from now on. From now on, I'm going to exercise every day. That's a good idea. You're going to be very healthy. From time to time. From time to time, he likes to go fishing. From time to time, I enjoy going to the opera. The department store has a sale from time to time. Do you see your grandmother often? No, I don't. She lives in another city, so I only see her from time to time. Generally speaking, generally speaking, dogs are friendly animals. Generally speaking, Mexican food is very spicy. Generally speaking, people hate going to the dentist. Do you like sweet food? Generally speaking, no. But I do like a few sweet things like ice cream and juice. Get back! I need to get back home before dark. Dorothy wanted to get back to Kansas. I don't know how to get back to the hotel. When will you get back from your trip? I'll return in two weeks. Get in touch with. He gave me his business card so I can get in touch with him. They can get in touch with me at this address. I've been trying to get in touch with him for weeks. We haven't talked to Julie recently. We should get in touch with her. Good idea. Let's call her tonight. Get involved in. He didn't want to get involved in their argument. She wanted to get involved in her school dance team. I don't usually get involved in politics. Roman and Carla are broke. Should we try to help them? No, it's not our problem. So let's not get involved in it. Get married to. Her parents didn't want her to get married to a mosquito. Prince Charles got married to Lady Diana Spencer. Sally will get married to Tom in March. Who is your brother going to marry? He's getting married to a girl he's been dating for a few years. Get off. The spider got off the ball. The old lady is getting off the bus. She got off the subway at the wrong stop. How can I get to your house from here? Take bus number seven and get off at the third stop. Get on. The spider got on the ball. He got on his horse and rode away. We got on the bus in front of City Hall. Can you wait while I go to the bathroom? No, the train is about to leave, so we have to get on now. You'll have to use the bathroom on the train. Get out, get out of, get out of here. My father said to the dog, "Get out, get out of my room right now." Thanks for giving me a ride to the library. No problem. I'll stop the car in front of the library, and you can get out quickly. Get rid of. He must get rid of his cold. I want to get rid of the ants in my room. My mother got rid of her old dresses. Can we get rid of these old books? Yes, I don't want them any more. Get tired of. I will never get tired of hamburgers. She got tired of hearing the song over and over. He got tired of waiting, so we went home. I'm getting tired of studying. Why don't you take a break? This story comes from the Middle East. Generally speaking, women in the Middle East are not seen as equal to men. For example, women cannot get the same jobs as men. Once there was an ugly girl that no man wanted to marry. Also, she could not get a job. She decided to cut her hair short and put on boys' clothes. She got a job caring for some sheep. 
For a long time, no one knew that she was a girl. Then one day, while she was out in the field, she saw a young man lying on the ground. He was badly hurt. She took him to her house and cared for him. For a while, she didn't know who he was. Then she heard that the king's son had been attacked by robbers and was missing. She knew for sure that the young man must be the prince. She got in touch with one of the king's soldiers. The soldier came to take the prince back home. The girl went with them. The king was very glad to meet the boy who saved his son. As a reward, the king gave her a horse named Lulazar. It was fast and strong and could also talk. From time to time, she would go to visit the prince. For the time being, the prince did not know that she was a girl. However, for the first time in her life, the girl fell in love. She got tired of acting like a boy. One day, she told the king that she wanted to get married to his son. When the king found out she was an ugly girl, he wanted to get rid of her. However, he did not want the prince to get involved in this plan. He decided to send the girl on a dangerous journey. He told her, If you want to marry my son, you must bring back the necklace of the devil mother. The king knew that the girl would fail and never come back. She got on her horse, Lulazar, and rode to the place where the devil mother lived. When she got off, Lulazar said, As soon as you find the necklace, get out. Jump out the window and I will catch you. The girl went quietly inside. She looked around for some time. She found the necklace and jumped out the window onto Lulazar. The devil mother saw a boy riding away with her necklace. She pointed her magic finger and said, I curse you, boy. From now on, you will be a woman. When the girl got back to the king's palace, she had changed into a beautiful woman. When the prince saw her, he immediately fell in love and asked her to marry him. The king had to keep his promise to the girl for getting the necklace. The prince and the woman got married and lived happily ever after. Lesson 8 The Foolish Brahmin Target Idioms Get to. When he got to the house, it was snowing. Just ring the bell when you get to the door. I got to the store before it closed. How do you get to school every day? I take the bus. Get together. Everyone said that they should get together. We often got together at the cafe. Let's get together on Friday night. Let's get together on Saturday. Okay, maybe we can go to a movie together. Get up. It's hard for him to get up in the morning. I have to get up early to catch the train. Time to get up. What time do you get up? Usually at 7.30, but on weekends I get up later. Get well. He received a get well card. I hope you get well. She got well faster than anticipated. My sister is sick, so I'm going to bring her some medicine. Tell her I hope she gets well soon. Give a hand. Can someone give me a hand with this? He gave her a hand with the yard work. They gave the boy a hand with the big box. This table is really heavy. Can you give me a hand moving it? Sure, I can help you. Give away. He gave away his last dollar. I wanted to sell my old radio, but I think I will just give it away. 
The company gave away free samples. Wow, you have a lot of books. I have too many. I think I should give away a lot of them. Give back. He had to give back the stolen money. When are you going to give back my CD? She borrowed my car, but she hasn't given it back. Can I borrow your bicycle? Yes, as long as you give it back by five o'clock. Give it a try. Why don't you give it a try? She decided to give it a try. I haven't played golf, but I'll give it a try. Have you had Mexican food? No, but I'd like to give it a try sometime. Give up. He should give up smoking. She did not give up hope of finding her dog. Don't give up. Keep trying. Learning to play the guitar is really hard. Don't give up. You will learn if you keep practicing. Go away. Go away. Please don't go away. I hope your stomach ache will go away soon. What a gloomy day! Yeah, I wish those clouds would go away. Go off. The camel went off across the desert to find water. Dorothy went off to have her car washed. She went off without even saying goodbye. Why is Mrs. Jones crying? Her son went off to fight in the war. Go on. The road goes on for many miles. This cold weather has gone on for too long. The argument went on for a few minutes. This movie was really boring. Yes, it just seemed to go on for hours. Go on a picnic. He is going on a picnic. Let's go on a picnic. I haven't gone on a picnic for years. What do you want to do this weekend? It's going to be sunny on Saturday, so I'd like to go on a picnic. Grow up. When he grows up, he will be a strong lion. I grew up in China, and then moved to America. My son has grown up so fast. What kind of job do you want to have when you grow up? Actually, I would like to become a dentist. Had better. If you want to work here, you had better get a haircut. You'd better not work too late. She had better study if she wants to pass the test. Do you want to play computer games with me? I'd like to, but I'd better finish my homework. Hand in. After sixty minutes, the students had to hand in their tests. Please hand in the report by Friday. Even though she wasn't finished, she had to hand in the project. What are you writing? I'm writing an essay that I have to hand in to my teacher tomorrow. Hang up. Hang up your coat on the wall. Please hang up your wet towels. Jerry hung up his Elvis costume after the show. Where should I put my jacket? You can hang it up in the closet. Have a good time. The aliens like to have a good time. The tourists had a good time in Paris. I had a good time at the party. Have a good time at the birthday party. Thanks. I think it will be fun. Have no idea. I have no idea why he is wearing this. She has no idea when the meeting is. They had no idea that the Earth was round. I have no idea how to use this digital camera. Read the instruction booklet. That'll help you. Have to do with. These symbols all have to do with mathematics. The newspaper article has to do with the Queen's visit to Africa. The mother hoped that her son had nothing to do with the broken window. What does math have to do with real life? Well, studying math helps us to add and subtract money and many other things.
In India, there are different levels in society. Children are born into the level of their parents, and as they grow up, they cannot change their level. The people at the top level are called Brahmins. This story has to do with a foolish Brahmin who wasted his good luck. One day, an old man wanted to give away a pot of rice. He decided to bring it to the Brahmin. The Brahmin was very pleased. He knew that he could either eat the rice or sell it. He went off to the hills with the pot to find a quiet place to think. Then it began to rain. The Brahmin thought he had better find shelter. The Brahmin saw a small house. When he got to the door, he gave it a try, and it opened. Inside the little house were many clay pots. The Brahmin thought that this must be a potter's house, but he had no idea where the potter was. He sat down and thought about his pot of rice. The Brahmin thought that he could sell the rice. With that money, he could then buy some of the pots in the house. The Brahmin then went on to imagine selling those pots for more money. With the money from the pots, he imagined buying nuts and silk and then selling these also. Next, the Brahmin imagined getting married. He would have at least four wives. They could give him a hand with raising all of his children. If he got sick, each of his wives would care for him until he got well again. The Brahmin was very excited. He could not give up the idea of how rich the little pot of rice would make him. He could not sleep, so he got up and began to walk around the room. There was a walking stick hanging up next to the door. He took it down and walked with it. The Brahmin was having a good time thinking about his fortune. The Brahmin would get together with all of his wives and children and go on a picnic. He would sit with his most beautiful wife. Then the other wives might start to argue because they were jealous. The Brahmin would not allow this. He would punish his wives if they argued in front of him. With that thought, the Brahmin swung the walking stick he was holding. The stick hit several of the pots and broke them. Just then the potter returned. It was the old man who had given him the rice. The old man demanded that the Brahmin pay for the pots. If not, he would hand him into the police. The Brahmin had no money, so he was forced to give back the rice as payment, and he went away with nothing. Lesson 9 The Seal Skin Target idioms. Have trouble with. He is having trouble with his battery. I am having trouble with this math homework. The soccer player had trouble with his knee. How are your tennis lessons? Good, but I'm having trouble with my serve. Hear from. He is waiting to hear from the doctor about his tests. I haven't heard from Dave recently. It's nice to hear from you. Has Mary called you since she went to China? Not yet. If I don't hear from her soon, I'm going to start worrying. Hear of. Have you ever heard of a two-headed snake? I have never heard of an earthquake in this city. Yes, I've heard of that restaurant. I think it's in the north end of town. Let's go see a movie sometime. Okay, if I hear of a good one, I'll tell you. Help oneself. Help oneself to. He is helping himself to a cookie. Help yourself to the cake. At the buffet, everyone helps themselves. Please, help yourself to some pie. Thank you. It looks delicious. Here you are. Here you are. Could I use your pen? Sure, here you are. I would like a chocolate ice cream cone, please. Here you are. Can I have a sip of your water, please? Sure, here you are. Hold on. We had to hold on while the traffic light was red. Hold on, I'm coming. Please hold on while I find your file. Here is the pizza you ordered. 
Hold on, I'll go get my wallet. Hold up. He held up the mouse for everyone to see. The soldier was holding up the flag. The class became silent when the teacher held up his hand. What do you do at your new job? I stand on the sidewalk and hold up a sign advertising the restaurant. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up or we will be late. You will miss the bus if you don't hurry up. Let's hurry up and finish before dinner. Good idea. I'm hungry. In a hurry. He is in a hurry. Why are you in such a hurry? Don't be in such a hurry. Why are you in a hurry? My piano lesson starts in five minutes, so I have to run if I don't want to be late. In a moment. He will be asleep in a moment. I'll be with you in a moment. She'll be back in a moment. Can I have a large cola, please? Yes, I'll bring it to you in a moment. In case of. Take an umbrella in case of rain. In case of emergency, press the red button. In case of fire, do not use the elevator. Please call 911 in case of a robbery. Okay, I'll remember that. In fact, in fact, there is no dark side of the moon. I really like you. In fact, I love you. It rained a lot yesterday. In fact, it was the wettest day of the year so far. This is a great birthday party. Is Heinrich going to come too? Yes, he is. In fact, here he comes now. In front of. There is a dinosaur in front of the house. The conductor stood in front of the orchestra. She stood in front of the mirror. I'll meet you in front of the school at three o'clock. Okay, I'll see you then. In general, in general, Asian food is less fattening than Western food. In general, I like cats. The movie was, in general, not very interesting. Do you like France? I like Europe in general because each country is interesting. In harmony, in harmony with. It is important that we live in harmony with nature. Dogs live in harmony with humans. The two countries worked in harmony. I'm glad that Jack and Jill got married. Yes, I hope that they can live in harmony. In honor of, we lit the candle in honor of our grandmother. They had a party in honor of the man's retirement. The president gave a speech in honor of the soldiers. My parents have been married for twenty-five years. You should have a party in honor of their anniversary. In just a minute, in just a minute it will be midnight. We will be leaving in just a minute. The movie will be starting in just a minute. Can you help me with this program? I'll be there in just a minute. In search of, the helicopter went in search of the people missing in the mountains. We went in search of a good Italian restaurant. They went to Africa in search of the white elephant. It's late. Why are you here at the store? We were watching a video and we got hungry, so we're here in search of snacks. In silence. The boy behaved badly, so his mother made him sit in silence. They walked down the road in silence. The family ate in silence. Do you mind if I turn on the radio? Actually, I prefer to study in silence. In the meantime, he had to wait for the bus. In the meantime, he read the paper. My car is in the shop. I am using my sister's. In the meantime, I will be late for the meeting. In the meantime, discuss next month's agenda. I know we should go to the store, but first I have to wash these clothes. Okay. I'll read my book in the meantime.
Have you heard of a story about a man who got married to a seal? He lived alone in his house by the sea, fishing and dreaming of the day he would get married. However, he had trouble with women. In general, he was very shy in front of women. In fact, if any woman talked to him, he would sweat and he could not speak. One day, the man was walking on the beach in search of a good place to fish. Then he saw a cave. In front of the cave, there was a pile of seal skins. The man heard the sound of laughing and singing inside the cave. He had an idea. A seal skin would be good to wear in case of snow. He helped himself to one of the skins, ran home, and put it in a large box. Then he locked the box with a key. In the meantime, a naked woman stood outside the cave crying. She could not find her seal skin, and all of her friends and family had left her there. The man returned to the cave and found the woman crying. He asked her, Why are you crying? But she did not say anything. She was very cold. The man said, Hold on, I have a blanket. You can wear it to keep yourself warm. Here you are. He gave the woman the blanket. Then the man told the woman that she could stay at his house. They walked back along the beach to his house in silence. Because the woman did not talk much, the man was very comfortable around her. Soon they fell in love. They got married and lived in harmony with each other for many years. One day, the man was getting ready to go to church in honor of a special holiday. Hurry up, he called to his wife. However, his wife did not feel well. She said, I want to lie down. You go now. I will catch up with you in just a minute. The man left. The wife's headache became worse, so she began looking for some medicine. While she was looking, she found the key to the box. Because the man was in a hurry to leave for church, he forgot the key at home. The wife opened the large box. There was her lost seal skin. She held up the skin and cried with happiness. She ran to the beach, put on her seal skin, and jumped into the sea. In a moment, she was with her seal family again. The man never heard from her again. However, every time the man would go out fishing, a seal would always swim around the boat watching him. Lesson 10 Ivanko, the Bear's Son Target Idioms in the middle of. The scarecrow is in the middle of the field. He was standing in the middle of the street. She turned off the TV in the middle of the show. What were you doing when I called you? I was in the middle of studying for tomorrow's big test. In vain. He tried in vain to get more food from the table. The trip was cancelled. He had packed in vain. She washed the car in vain. It rained that afternoon. This is an important game. We have to win it. I know. If we don't win, our three months of practicing will have been in vain. Instead of. He chose the hamburger instead of the pizza. She went to New York instead of Paris. They met on Sunday instead of Saturday. Let's go on a picnic instead of watching a movie. Okay, it's a nice day to be outdoors. Just in time. The policeman caught the thief just in time. You are just in time for dinner. She got to the airport just in time to catch her plane. Wow, it's raining hard. We came in the house just in time. 
I know. If we would have stayed outside one more minute, we would be very wet right now. Keep away from. There are some areas that swimmers should keep away from. Keep away from that old house. The shy boy kept away from the other children. Why did Mom tell us to keep away from that dog? Because that dog is dangerous. It bit three kids last summer. Keep in mind. Keep in mind that he usually eats with chopsticks. I'll keep that in mind. Keep in mind that you've got a meeting at three o'clock. I'm going to play soccer with my friends this afternoon. Okay, but keep in mind that dinner is at six o'clock. Keep in touch. He gave me his phone number so we could keep in touch. They kept in touch for twenty years. Please keep in touch while you are traveling. I'm going to live in America next year. After you go, please keep in touch with me. Keep on. Keep on pushing. His alarm went off, but he kept on sleeping. It's late, but I have to keep on working. Why did you sell your parrot? He kept on singing Elvis songs. Keep an eye on. They wanted to keep an eye on the strange newcomer. I'm going to the bathroom. Please keep an eye on my bag. My parents are gone, so I have to keep an eye on my little brother. Keep an eye on the time. I have to leave at midnight. Okay, it's only eleven fifteen now. Keep out of. Keep your hands out of my honey. The children were kept out of the graveyard. The high fence kept wolves out of the farm. Why did you keep out of the game? I don't know how to play very well. Laugh at. People always laugh at his nose. The thoughtless teacher laughed at the student when he made a mistake. They laughed at him when he tripped. Why is Jimmy crying? The other children laughed at his haircut. Lead to. The road leads to the castle. The guide will lead us to the village. The dog led the police officer to the robber's house. Where does this stairway go? It leads to the parking garage. Leave out. The message was nice, but they left out the A's. He packed his suitcase, but he left out one pair of socks. This argument is between you and me. Leave my brother out of it. Do you want a hamburger? Yes, I do. But please leave out the pickles. Listen to. He likes to listen to music. She listens to the radio on her way to work. We sat outside and listened to the birds singing. Why is Rita doing so badly in school? She never listens to her teacher. Little by little. Little by little, the snail moved along the road. Peter learned Spanish little by little. Little by little, they built their house. Your computer is expensive. How did you buy it? I worked for three years and saved my money little by little. Live on. The bird lives on worms. The poor man lived on bread and water. In college, I lived on only fifty dollars a week. Let's go out for a nice dinner. Good idea. I am tired of living on spaghetti and water. Long for. She longs for romance. The orphan longed for a home. He longed for a motorcycle of his own. I am longing for the ocean. Okay, let's go to the beach. Look after. She must look after her puppy. I had to look after my little sister. Please look after my plants when I am gone. I'll be gone for one week. Will you look after my dog? Yes, I'll give him food and walk him every day. 
Look around. He's looking around for bananas. We looked around the room for the remote. The new student looked around the class. I still haven't found my bag. Look around at school tomorrow. Maybe it's there. Look at. They looked at each other for a long time. The doctor looked at the x ray. Dawn looked at the painting. Look at those beautiful flowers. Wow! I don't think I've seen any like those before. A long time ago in Russia, a farmer's wife got lost one day in the woods. A bear found her and married her. The bear would not let her keep in touch with her husband. The woman and the bear had a son, Ivanko. He was half bear and half boy. Ivanko grew up little by little, and soon the woman longed for the farm again. One day, the boy and his mother ran away. The farmer was happy, but he laughed at Ivanko. Keep in mind that the boy was half boy, half bear. Instead of sending Ivanko away, the farmer told him to kill a sheep so that they could have a big dinner. Ivanko asked, Which sheep should I kill? The farmer said, Kill the first one that looks at you. Ivanko went into the yard. All of the sheep looked at him at the same time. Ivanko began to kill all the sheep. The farmer stopped him just in time. He cried out, Why? Ivanko said, They all looked at me at the same time. The farmer knew that it would be in vain to scold the boy. So he said, Put all of this meat into the barn. Keep an eye on the barn door. There are wolves around here. Ivanko watched the door very carefully, but in the middle of the night it began to rain. Ivanko took the door off and looked around for a dry place. He took the door to his room and kept on watching it. The next day all of the meat was gone. The farmer yelled at Ivanko. I told you to look after the meat. You didn't keep out the wolves. Ivanko said, No, sir. You told me to keep an eye on the barn door. The farmer knew that Ivanko would lead to the ruin of his farm. Soon they would have nothing left to live on. The farmer thought of a way to keep Ivanko away from the farm. The farmer said, Listen to me, Ivanko. I need some rope. Can you go to the lake and make some rope out of sand there? Ivanko went to the lake, sat down, and began to try to make rope out of sand. While he was working, a goblin came up out of the lake. The goblin said, I will help you if you can carry my horse around the lake more times than I can. The goblin pulled his horse out of the lake, picked it up, and carried it around the lake three times. Then Ivanko jumped on the horse and rode it around the lake twenty times. The goblin said, You are a clever boy. You carried the horse between your legs. He used his magic to help Ivanko. Let's not leave out the best part of the story, though. The goblin's magic turned the rope into gold. Ivanko's family became rich. Lesson 11. Strong Wind. Target idioms. Look down on. He was often looked down on for being different. The scholar looked down on the farmer. The rich man looked down on the beggar. Why do those rich kids look down on Sarah? Because Sarah's family is poor and she wears old clothes. Look for. He's looking for grass to eat. What are you looking for? Can you help me look for my glasses? Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for the restroom. Look forward to. He is looking forward to the game. I am looking forward to my new job. We are looking forward to leaving this town. I'm looking forward to our vacation next month. Me too. It's going to be fun. Look like. Sometimes people look like their pets. 
A tiger looks like a big cat. That guy looks like my brother. Can you see that cloud? Wow, it looks like an elephant. Look out! Look out! You must look out for cars when you cross the street. Look out! That rock is about to fall. Look out! You almost stepped on my mouse. Sorry, I didn't see it. Look through. She looked through the whole house until she found her spider. I looked through the drawer for an eraser. The woman looked through her purse for her car keys. Did you find any mistakes when you looked through my essay? Yes, I found a couple. Look up to. The boy really looks up to his older brother. Jim looked up to his brave friend. We all look up to our grandfather. Why do you look up to Tim so much? Because he is a brave, honest, and humble person. Make friends with. The monkey wants to make friends with the snake. I made friends with the new boy in school. It can be hard to make new friends. I'm going to go to a new school next year, and I'll miss my friends. Don't worry, you'll make friends with people at your new school too. Make fun of. Everyone made fun of him. She made fun of my ugly shoes. The other reindeer made fun of Rudolph's red nose. Ha ha ha! You can't ski. Don't make fun of me. This is my first time skiing. Make oneself at home. He is making himself at home on the sofa. Come in, make yourself at home. I made myself at home in my friend's apartment. Can I use one of your towels? Sure, you can use anything you need. Make yourself at home. Make sense. His words didn't make sense. It makes sense to stop smoking. The sentence makes no sense. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. Maybe if you explain it again, I'll understand. Make the most of. He is making the most of his arms to build his house quickly. She is making the most of a bad situation. I only have ten dollars. I'll have to make the most of it. It's too bad that you have to leave soon. I know. Let's just try to make the most of our time together. Make up. He often made up stories. My grandfather makes up funny songs. I didn't want to tell the man my real name, so I made up a name. You'll be late for school. What will you tell the teacher? I'll make up an excuse. Make up for. She started slowly, so she is trying to make up for lost time. She had to work overtime to make up the days of work she missed. He missed his daughter's birthday, so he tried to make up for it with a big gift. Why did you buy my lunch today? I wanted to make up for being late last week. Make up one's mind. He is trying to make up his mind. You have to make up your mind. I can't make up my mind. Is Jill going to study in America or Canada? She made up her mind to study in Canada. Make up with. After a big argument, they wanted to make up with each other. I don't think I can ever make up with him. Newlyweds fight and make up often. Why are you going to go to a movie with Tom? I thought you were angry at him. I was angry at him, but we made up with each other. Now we're good friends again. Make use of. Farmers make use of the land. He made use of the wood and built a house. Can you make use of some old chairs? Is Ben making use of his math skills? Yes, he is. He works at a bank. No problem. He hopes that fixing the window will be no problem. It should be no problem to find tickets for the game. She said it was no problem to pick me up. Thanks for the cookie. No problem. I have a whole bag of them. Nothing but. Robbers are nothing but bad. That boy is nothing but trouble. 
There was nothing but old cheese in the refrigerator. Your car looks nice. Is it a good car? No, I bought it two years ago and it has given me nothing but problems. Now and then. Now and then he likes to sing. He likes to watch a movie now and then. Now and then there are concerts in the park. Do you come to this restaurant often? No, I only come here now and then. This is a story that comes from an Indian tribe that lived on the east coast of Canada. Once, there was a man called Strongwind who had a great power. He could make himself invisible and move silently. Everyone looked up to Strong Wind. When he went into an enemy's camp, they would hear nothing but the wind. It was no problem for him to look through their camp and learn all their plans. One day, Strong Wind made up his mind to choose a wife. Of course, it made sense that many women would want to marry a powerful man. He had to look out for women who only wanted power. Strong Wind decided to make use of his power to find the right woman. Only a woman with a pure heart would be able to see him. Strong Wind lived with his sister near the sea. He told his sister, Bring any woman who wants to be my wife to the beach in the evening. You can always see me when I am coming home. Ask the woman if she can see me. I will marry the first woman who sees me. Many women looked for Strong Wind, but they could never see him. Now and then some women would say, Yes, I can see him. Then the sister would ask, What does he pull his sled with? The women would try to make up an answer, but they were never right. The chief of the tribe had three daughters. They all looked forward to their chance to see Strongwind. The youngest daughter was very kind and pretty. She made friends with many people. The two older daughters were jealous of their little sister and looked down on her. They made her wear rags. Then they made fun of her because she looked like a beggar. However, the youngest daughter tried to make the most of her situation. She never complained or hated her sisters, even though they never tried to make up with her. The older daughters went to try to become Strong Wind's wife. They both failed. Then the youngest daughter tried. When the sister saw Strong Wind coming, she asked, Can you see him? The young woman said, Yes. What does he pull his sled with? He pulls his sled with the rainbow. This was the right answer. Strong Wind's sister took the young woman home and gave her a beautiful new dress. Strong Wind's sister told her to make herself at home in the tent. Strong Wind knew that she was the right woman. They were married the next day. Later, Strong Wind wanted to make up for the bad things that her sisters had done. Strong Wind used his power to turn the two bad sisters into aspen trees. That is why today the leaves of aspen trees shake even in a little wind. They remember Strong Wind's power and are afraid. Lesson 12 Br'er Fox's Shoes Target idioms. Of course. Of course, I like your new hairstyle. If you're busy, you don't have to come, of course. Can we go to the concert? Of course we can. Do you like soccer? Of course I like soccer. That's why I play it every day. On and on. The road goes on and on. They worked on and on through the night. It rained on and on for days. Did your aunt call last night? Yes, she talked on and on for three hours. 
on foot. He made the journey on foot. You can go everywhere on foot in my town. They had to go on foot after their car broke down. Do you go to school by bus? No, I don't. I go on foot. On purpose. I'm sorry I spilled the drink. It wasn't on purpose. He missed the school bus on purpose because he didn't like school. She broke the cup on purpose. Hey, did you hit me on purpose? No, I didn't. It was an accident. On schedule. The bus usually arrives on schedule. The meeting did not start on schedule. I hope that my plane is on schedule. Will the train be late today? No, it will arrive on schedule. On the contrary. He's not lazy. On the contrary, he's very active. Are you cold? On the contrary, I'm quite warm. You don't look overweight. On the contrary, you seem very healthy. Was that movie bad? On the contrary, it was the best movie I've ever seen. On the way. On one's way. There is a gas station on the way to the next city. On the way to work this morning, she saw a deer. I will stop by the post office on my way home. We don't have any milk. Can you buy some today? Okay, I'll buy some on the way home from school today. On the weekend. They are going fishing on the weekend. We used to go hiking on weekends. I take my son to the park on the weekend. What are you going to do on the weekend? I'm going to play soccer on Saturday and go to church on Sunday. On time. He wanted to get to his meeting on time. Most of the people came on time. This train is always on time. Let's go to school now. I don't want to be late for class. Don't worry, we'll be on time. Once in a while. Once in a while, I like to eat seafood. My old friend calls me once in a while. Once in a while, he goes to rock concerts. Do you like to go to movies? No, but I rent a video once in a while. Out of breath. After running so long, he was out of breath. She was out of breath after running up the stairs. By the time we reached the top, we were out of breath. Why are you out of breath? <sighs> Because I ran here from my house. Out of date. His haircut is out of date. My computer is already out of date. Don't take medicine that is out of date. I can't find the new road on this map. It's probably out of date. Pass by. He said hello as he passed by his friend. I saw a big dog passing by my house around two o'clock. People along the street waved as the parade passed by. Do you know where Anne's house is? Yes, I do. I pass by it every day when I walk home from school. Pass out. He is passing out. She hit her head on the tree and passed out. You will pass out if you hold your breath for too long. Is he sleeping? No, he saw some blood and passed out. Pay a visit. I will pay a visit to my grandma tomorrow. We paid a visit to our relatives. Let's pay a visit to them sometime. Let's pay a visit to Kevin. Good idea. I haven't seen him for a long time. Pay attention to. You should pay attention to road signs when you're driving. He was not paying attention in class. Pay attention to me. Does he pay attention to the teacher in class? No, he doesn't. He only talks to his friends and draws pictures on his desk. Pick out. Pick out the one you like. She picked out a nice dress for the party. I picked out the best apple in the basket. I want to buy a shirt 
but I don't know which color to get. I'll help you pick out a color. Pick up. Pick up the hammer. He picked up the pen and wrote a letter. She picked up her hat and put it on. This room is a mess. Pick up your toys. Okay, Mom. I will. Piece by piece. He put the puzzle together piece by piece. She ate the whole cake piece by piece. He picked up the broken dish piece by piece. How did they move that big sculpture? They took it apart and moved it piece by piece. Play a trick on. The dog is playing a trick on the cat. He got into trouble for playing a trick on his sister. Don't ever play a trick on me again. I like to untie my brother's shoes, hide his pencils, and put frogs in his bed. That's not nice. Do you always play tricks on him? If you ever pay a visit to the south part of the United States, you might hear the stories of Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear. In these stories, Br'er Rabbit always plays tricks on Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear. If you pay attention to the story, you might be able to pick out the lesson. These stories are old, but the lessons never go out of date. Once in a while, Br'er Rabbit went shopping. One day, he was on the way to town when Br'er Fox chased him. Br'er Rabbit hid in an old log. You might think Br'er Rabbit would be scared in the log. On the contrary, Br'er Rabbit was singing to himself. The singing went on and on. Finally, Br'er Fox said, Come out of that log, or I'll tear it apart piece by piece to get you. Br'er Rabbit told Br'er Fox, On the weekend, Br'er Bear goes to the river to catch fish. Then he goes home on foot with his bag full of fish. If you let me go, I'll show you how to get it. Br'er Fox agreed, and they went to the road. Right on time, Br'er Bear came walking from the river. Br'er Rabbit took off one shoe and put it in the road. Then he hid behind a tree. When Br'er Bear saw the shoe, he said to himself, I should pick it up. But, of course, I don't have the other shoe. So he kept walking. Br'er Rabbit put on his shoe again and ran ahead to another part of the road. He was out of breath from running. He put the other shoe in the road. When Br'er Bear saw the shoe in the road, he put down his bag of fish to walk back and get the other shoe. Br'er Rabbit picked up his shoe and the bag of fish and ran to meet Br'er Fox. The next weekend, Br'er Fox waited by the road on purpose to trick Br'er Bear again. Br'er Fox put his shoe in the road and hid behind a tree. A few hours later, right on schedule, Br'er Bear came walking from the river. As he was passing by the tree, he saw the shoe in the road. Br'er Bear picked it up, put it in his bag, and kept walking. Br'er Fox was surprised. He ran after Br'er Bear and said, Br'er Bear, I lost my shoe. Have you seen it? Br'er Bear took the shoe out of his bag and asked, Is this your shoe? Br'er Fox said, Yes. Then Br'er Bear knew that it was Br'er Fox who tricked him the weekend before. Br'er Bear grabbed Br'er Fox by the neck and beat him until he passed out. Lesson 13. The Kaligaru. Target idioms. Protect A from B. A good coat can protect you from the cold. The helmet protected his head from injury in the crash. Our dog protects our home from robbers. Why do you put a fence around your flowers? It protects them from hungry rabbits. Prove to be.
he proved to be the strongest. The man proved to be a criminal. She proved to be an unfaithful friend. Why was the man let out of jail? The fingerprints on the gun proved to be someone else's. Put down, put down the wire. When he finished the letter, he put down his pencil. The bag was too heavy, so I put it down. Where do you want this box? Just put it down by the door, thanks. Put off. He put off washing his shirt for too long. Don't put off doing your homework. You should not put it off until tomorrow. Do you like cleaning your room? No, I put it off as long as possible. Put on. He put on his helmet before the game started. The girl put on her glasses to read. She put on her swimming suit. Let's go for a walk. Okay. Let me put on my shoes. Put together. He put together a house of cards. The boy put together a model airplane. Let's put together that puzzle. I think we should put together a ski club. Good idea. I'll ask my friends at work. Put up with. I can't put up with cockroaches. She likes cats, but she can't put up with their hair. He refuses to put up with people who smoke in the bathroom. Ha ha! You're stupid. You can't do math. Stop it! I can't put up with your teasing me any more. Quite a few. There are quite a few fish in the group. There were quite a few people at the park. There are quite a few good movies at the cinema. About fifty people went to Kim's birthday party. Wow, that's quite a few people. Remind A of B. He reminds me of his father. The picture reminds him of home. She reminds me of a movie star. Why does this song remind you of your grandfather? Because it was his favorite song. Remove A from B. She wanted to remove the lock from the door. I removed his name from the list. He removed the ring from his finger. Whose shoes are those? They're mine. I'll remove them from the room. Result from. A big stomach can result from eating too much. The flood resulted from too much rain. The fire resulted from a cigarette in the garbage can. Why did you do poorly on the test? It resulted from my not studying last night. Right away, he needs help right away. She has to go to the hospital right away. Stay there. I am coming right away. Can you stay for a few more minutes? Sorry, I have to leave right away. Run across. He was surprised to run across the old record in his friend's collection. She ran across her old boyfriend at the store. If you run across that file, please let me know. When did you find this great article? I ran across it in yesterday's newspaper. Run after. The monster ran after the boy. The kids ran after the ice cream truck. The cat ran after the dog. Why is the police officer running after that man? Because he stole that woman's purse. Run away. They had to run away. He ran away from the bear. The boy ran away from home. Do you have any pets? I had a puppy, but it ran away two weeks ago. Run out of. We've run out of water. Oh no! The store ran out of bread. I ran out of money at the casino. Why did the car stop? Because we just ran out of gas. See off. He came to see his friend off on his journey. We went to see my sister off at the airport. Can I come and see you off? I'm leaving for China tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll be there at the airport to see you off. Set up. They set up the bowling pins. He set up a hot dog stand at the fair. 
The campers set up their tent. Have you used the new computer that you got last week? No, I haven't. It's still in the box because I don't know how to set it up. Shake hands with. They are shaking hands with each other. The president shook hands with the prime minister. I had the chance to shake hands with the movie star. Do American people bow when they meet each other for the first time? No, they don't. They shake hands with each other. Show off. She wanted to show off her expensive coat. He showed off his new shoes at school. The girl showed off her report card to her brother. Look, I got an A on my test. Stop showing off. This is an Australian Aboriginal story that tells how death came into the world. A long time ago, there was a time called Dream Time. There was a long piece of painted wood, called a Kalagaru, set up as a bridge between the earth and the sky. In Dream Time, people never died. They could go across this bridge whenever they wanted. In both places, there was plenty to eat, so no one ever ran out of food. Every day, quite a few people crossed the Kalagaru. It was common to run across an old friend. These friends might shake hands with each other and talk for a few minutes before going on their way. If someone wanted to go across, it was not necessary to say goodbye and see him or her off. Because no one ever died, they knew that they would meet again across the Kalagaru. One day, a woman found gold by the river. She wanted to show off her gold to her friends in the sky. It was getting dark, but she wanted to leave right away. She was so excited she could not put off the trip. She put on her traveling skirt and then put together a bag of things she would need. She took a little food, some water, and a few sticks that she could use to make a fire for cooking. As the woman walked across the Kalagaru, night came. The woman was afraid that people would run after her and try to take the gold. She could not put up with the idea of someone else having her gold. Then the woman remembered the sticks. A fire would protect her from thieves. The woman removed the sticks from her bag. She put them down in the middle of the Kalagaru and started a small fire. This proved to be a big mistake. The fire burned a large part of the Kalagaru. Now it was impossible for anyone to go across. The woman ran away. However, someone saw her. Soon, everyone knew that the woman had burned the Kalagaru. And no one could ever go to live in the sky again. Those people who were already in the sky could never come back to live on the earth again. When the woman looked up at the part of the Kalagaru still in the sky at night, those people stuck in the sky were very angry. They were reminded of the woman and what resulted from her foolish behavior. They sent death to kill the woman. So all women were told never to look up at the sky at night, or they might see the Kalaguru and die. Lesson fourteen: The Wild Pigeon. Target idioms. Show up. The owl showed up late at night. She showed up three hours late. The man didn't show up for work. Is Nate coming to the party tonight? Yes, he said he would show up around seven o'clock. Side by side. They walked side by side. The trees grew side by side along the river. They sat side by side on the bench. Do you sit next to Amy at school? Yes, I do. We sit side by side at the same desk. Slow down. He should slow down. The train slowed down as it reached the station. 
She slowed down when she drove by the children. Please slow down. You're walking too fast. Sorry, I'll walk more slowly. So far, he's eaten seven hot dogs so far. The weather has been dry so far this year. I have met three new people so far. Are you almost finished with that book? No, I've only read two chapters so far. Sooner or later, sooner or later, he's going to hurt himself. The police will catch the thief sooner or later. Don't worry, she'll be here sooner or later. I love getting into movies for half price. Be careful! Sooner or later, they are going to find out that you're not a college student. Speak ill of. He began to speak ill of his ex-girlfriend. The workers spoke ill of the factory owner. She spoke ill of the man who had married her friend. Why does everybody speak ill of Katie? Because she is greedy and unkind. Speak well of. He always speaks well of his parents. The boss spoke well of the new worker. The teacher speaks well of your son. Do people speak well of her? Yes, they do. They say she's very patient and kind. Spend on. How much did you spend on your pants? He spends all his money on gambling. I spent too much money on that trip to Hawaii. How much do you spend on food each week? About fifty dollars, I guess. How about you? Stand for. The dove stands for peace. The heart stands for love. In China, the color red stands for good luck. What does your middle initial stand for? The S is for Simon. It was my grandfather's name. Stay up. The boy stayed up late playing video games. The children were not allowed to stay up after nine o'clock. He had to stay up late to study last night. I went to sleep at three a.m. last night. Wow! You stayed up late. Stick to. The fish should stick to water. I tried playing the guitar, but I think I will just stick to piano. Her doctor said that she should stick to her current diet plan. I promised my parents I would study tonight, but I want to play computer games. Don't play computer games. Stick to your promise. Such as. Animals such as monkeys and gorillas are primates. The store sells electronic goods such as radios, computers, and cameras. We visit many cities in Italy, such as Rome, Venice, and Milan. What does your dad sell in his store? He sells sporting goods such as basketballs, bicycles, and shoes. Take advantage of. We should take advantage of the nice weather and go to the beach. He took advantage of the low prices and bought a dozen pens. The kids took advantage of the holiday and went to the zoo. Bob works at a CD store. He can give us a discount. We shouldn't take advantage of him. Take after. The boy takes after his father. She really takes after her mother. You really take after your grandfather. Joe is an excellent soccer player. He takes after his father. He is very good at sports. Take care of. You must promise to take care of them. The nurse took care of the sick patient. My mother takes good care of me. I'll be gone for one week. Can you take care of my cat? Yes, I'll give her food and water and play with her every day. Take lessons. He is taking singing lessons. The children take piano lessons. I took lessons in dancing. How did she learn to play the guitar so well? She took lessons for six years. Take off. The helicopter is ready to take off. She took off before I could say goodbye. 
The plane will be taking off on time. Let's go for a drive in the country. Okay. After I finish eating, we'll take off. Take part in. I'm sorry. I don't think you can take part in our game. It is an honor to take part in the Olympics. She wanted to take part in the meeting. Are you going to take part in the science fair on Saturday? I want to, but I can't. I'm going to my grandmother's house on Saturday. Take place. An eclipse takes place every few years. The 2000 Olympics took place in Sydney, Australia. The conference will take place at the Hyatt Hotel. Where will the school picnic be tomorrow? It'll take place at Simon's Park. Take pride in. He takes pride in his work. I take pride in my painting. She took pride in her son's good grades. Your mom always makes delicious food. Yes, she takes pride in her cooking. In Japan, there are many stories such as this one that tell children how they should respect their parents. A long time ago, there was a little boy who didn't take after his brothers and sisters. He never listened to his mother. If the mother told the boy to do one thing, he would do just the opposite. If the mother told him to speak well of a guest in their house, the boy would only speak ill of the guest. If she asked him to take part in cleaning the house, he would make his room a mess. If the mother asked the boy to slow down so that they could walk side by side, the boy would take off running wildly. If she told him to go to bed, he would stay up all night. The mother loved him very much, but he was a difficult child to raise. Then, one day, the mother had an idea. She decided to take advantage of the fact that her son always did the opposite of what she asked. She wanted her son to take piano lessons, so she told him, Son, please never learn to play the piano. Of course, the boy wanted to do it. He studied very hard, and his mother took pride in his wonderful playing. Sooner or later, we all get old. As she neared the end of her life, the mother worried about where her son would bury her. So far, she thought, my son has always done the opposite of what I wanted. I should stick to this same trick. I want to be buried on the hill. I will tell my son to bury me by the ocean. Then he will bury me on the hill. When the mother's death finally took place, the son felt terribly sad. He said, all of my life, I always did the opposite of what my mother wanted. Now that she is dead, I will do exactly what she wanted. So the son buried his mother by the ocean. He spent a lot of money on a nice grave. However, when he showed up to take care of her grave later, it was high tide, and the ocean's water covered it. When he stopped by the grave in summer, he saw that the sun had burned the ground, and many cracks were growing in the grave. The son felt so terrible about his poor mother's grave that he fell down dead. At the moment he died, he turned into a wild pigeon and made his home by the ocean. Now, if you go to the ocean, you may hear the sad cries of a wild pigeon. These cries stand for the sadness that the son still feels for his mother. Lesson 15. Pedro Tricks His Boss Target Idioms Talk Over They decided to talk over their problem. They talked over the plan. We talked over an idea for the next party. Can you go to the concert with us on Saturday night? I'm going to talk it over with my dad tonight. Take Turns They took turns skipping. We take turns watching the baby. She took turns with her brother on the sled.
It's going to be a long trip. Let's take turns driving. Thanks for. He says thanks for repairing his spaceship. Thanks for all your help. Be sure to say thanks for the wonderful dinner. Thanks for helping me clean my room. No problem. Now let's go outside and play. Think about. He can't stop thinking about the girl. During the storm, I thought about sunshine. She thinks about her trip to Paris often. Do you miss your grandmother? Yes, I do. I think about her every day. Think of. He thought of a good idea for lunch. He couldn't think of the answer. Can you think of a better way? Can you think of a nice place for a vacation? How about Hawaii? Throw away. Please throw away your garbage. I don't want to throw away this old chair. He was angry because she threw away his favorite old hat. Can I throw away these boxes? Yes, you can. I don't need them. To tell the truth. To tell the truth, I ate the sheep. To tell the truth, I don't like her at all. To tell the truth, I got up late this morning. How about pizza for dinner? To tell the truth, I don't like pizza. Can we eat something else? Try on. He is trying on a new sweater. Can I try these shoes on? He tried on the shorts, but they were too big. I like these pants, but I think they're too small. Try them on. Maybe they'll fit. Turn off. Turn off the lights. Please turn off the TV. I forgot to turn the stove off. Are you using the computer? No, you can turn it off. Turn on. Turn on the lights. I want to turn on the air conditioner. Could you turn the fan on, please? Let's listen to some music. Okay, I'll turn on the radio. Wait for. He is waiting for the bus. What are you waiting for? I have to wait for my clothes to dry. He said he'd be here at eight, but it's eight thirty. Should we wait for him? Yes, maybe he got lost. Wake up! It is time for him to wake up. Wake up! You're late for work. She woke up in the middle of the night. Be quiet! You'll wake up the baby. Sorry, I'll practice my trumpet outside. Watch out! Watch out for that hole! Watch out! There is a bee on your arm. The old monkey is very mean, so watch out. I'm going for a bike ride. Watch out for cars. Wear out. The girl wore out the doll. He wore out thirty pairs of socks last year. She wears her pants out very quickly. Wow, your shoes have a lot of holes. I know. They wore out because I walked five miles in them every day. What's the matter? What's the matter with? Mommy says, "What's the matter?" Please tell me what's the matter with my dog. She's crying. What's the matter with her? You don't look good. What's the matter? I have a bad headache and I'm very tired. Worthwhile too. Worthwhile i n g. It would be worthwhile to stop smoking. It is worthwhile to study a foreign language. She thinks it is worthwhile saving money. I haven't been to the new aquarium. Would it be worthwhile to go? Yes, they have many beautiful fish and other interesting animals there. Would like to. The rabbit would like to fly. She would like to become a doctor. They would like to go to the beach. I would like to see that new movie. Do you want to go? Yes, let's go this weekend. Would rather. He would rather eat Chinese food. I would rather live in a house than in an apartment. She would rather be fishing. Would you rather go swimming or play computer games today? 
I would rather go swimming. Write back. I have to write back to my friend. Have you written back to your grandmother? Please write back to me. Have you heard from Ted yet? Yes, he sent me a letter last week, and I'm going to write back to him tonight. Write down. He wrote down the directions. Please write down this number. Her mother told him about his family history, and he wrote it down. May I have your telephone number? Yes, I'll write it down for you. In Chile, South America, there are many stories about Pedro. Pedro never thought it was worthwhile to work hard. He would rather trick people to get money without working. Maybe these stories were told for fun, but also to teach people to watch out for men like Pedro. One day, Pedro got a job working for a farmer. This farmer had a very pretty wife and three pretty daughters. To tell the truth, Pedro thought, I would like to just sit all day talking to them. Pedro was working with another man washing the barn. However, they turned off the hose and took turns sleeping. If one man saw their boss coming, he would wake up the other, turn on the hose, and start washing. The farmer thought about firing Pedro because he had been very slow in washing the barn. Pedro wanted to work for the farmer very much. Actually. He was just waiting for the chance to kiss one of the farmer's daughters. Pedro and the farmer talked over all of the jobs that Pedro could do. The farmer finally decided to send Pedro to town to sell his pigs. He gave Pedro a piece of paper with the price that he wanted for the pigs. Pedro thought of a way to trick his boss. He threw away the paper. And took the pigs into a swamp near the farm. Pedro cut off all of the tails of the pigs and stuck the tails in the mud. Then he led the pigs to town and sold them. Because Pedro had worn out his shoes, he went to a shop and tried on some new ones. He wrote down the address of the shop and told the owner that he would write back soon to order the shoes. Then he went back to the swamp. As night came, the farmer got worried. He took a lamp and went down the road to look for Pedro. When he saw Pedro standing in the swamp, he yelled, "What's the matter with you? I told you to go to town." Pedro said, "I tried to take a shortcut through the swamp, but all of the pigs went into the mud. Look!" Pedro pointed to the pigtails. The farmer shouted, "Quick, go tell all three of my daughters to come help us dig these pigs out." When Pedro ran back to the farm, he found the daughters waiting there. The daughters asked Pedro if anything was wrong. He knew this was his chance. Pedro said, "No, your father told me to come here and give each of you a kiss." The three daughters laughed and said that they did not believe him. Pedro yelled back to the farmer still standing in the swamp, "Did you say all three?" The farmer yelled back, "Yes, all three." So Pedro kissed all three daughters and said, "Thanks for letting me work here," and ran away.